Hey, welcome to TechBytes Mobile. Today we're going to be talking about Mobile Development Kit, your solution to build really cool cross-platform applications with low-code or pro-code, your choice. Let me show this to you. Okay, and we are inside the SAP Business Application Studio. And if I choose to start my project from a template, I get um, various options. And one of them is the MDK option. And here I just select it, click start. And we're going to just create a list detail for the first run. Um, let's give our project a name. Continue to the next step in the wizard. Give the service a name and choose where our own data source is. Um, for us, uh, we're going to go through a mobile services destination. And let's load this. And then from mobile services, we choose which destination we want to use. And we have created, uh, here it is, the MDK sales endpoint with all the correct con uh, configuration. And one of the configurations is the destination. So we just we decide which OData destination we're going to use. And then we click on Next, we will get a list of the OData collections. And because this is a complex data model we have here for our demo backend, and we don't want to break uh, any of the views, we're just going to select all of them and click Finish. And what uh, Business Application Studio now does is it creates the MDK project uh, for us, opens uh, the workspace, and then we can go and look at what basically has been generated for us. And if we look at the main page, open the main page, right? We will see um, it's a very, we can see that the data, uh, the views which have been generated are exactly like the data model, right? So the main view basically lists all the models and then there's detailed views to those, right? And this is all the stuff here. And then if we click on the services, we can see the OData service document, which was basically fetched down and parsed. And this is how the views were all generated. And if I will show later that um, with the editor we have, we can customize all of this. And then if we open the application, uh, file, we have all the core information about application. So let's deploy this application so that we can then uh, view it on the device. So we go MDK and the action is deploy. We want to deploy two mobile services. Then while the deploy, uh, while this runs, we can go and scan the QR code with our device. So now on the device, you see we have the mobile services application. And if we go and open the mobile application right now, I can click on start. This is the vanilla application downloaded from the App Store. All the users can download it. And it asks me, I want to scan a QR code. And I click on scan option and scan the QR code from our screen. It fetched it. Yep. And we confirm. And then I log in to here. So and once the login is completed, it's going to go and fetch the application we just deployed. There's the update, and there shows the UI, right? And I have a very simplistic UI. It's downloading now the data also in the background, because the application is right away offline. And let's let it finish. Okay, has finished the data set, right? And then I can look at, okay, huh, what, how many orders do we have, right? And I can navigate into the details of the order. And this is just a sample UI, um, giving you a starting point to build the application, right? Uh, what we, let's switch back to the editor, right? Um, this is not obviously for productive use. It's just a basic way um, to, to work here and start here. And let's close this as well. 
and we have various controls here um, you can go and uh, do low code editing right drag and drop controls and then modify the properties of it let me show you uh, what we have done instead of building this out right uh, we have done already uh, a project um, with the same data model where you can see what is basically possible right so let's go and deploy this and whilst it's deploying uh, hold on deploy mdk and then it will ask us what we want to deploy and we want to deploy the demo app here and this is going against the same endpoint the same data set so i'm basically just deploying a new version of the application and you can see already we have customized um, let's look at the overview page here um, while it's loading uh, make this a little bit smaller all right, uh, it looks different. We have a couple tabs. Uh, it tells me it's deployed. So if I reopen the application, the application detects that there is an update. And then um, it will, once I confirm, it will update the application. And now you can see that this is the same application as uh, the same data model as I had before, where I generate the basic application. And this is a UI which was built from our development team as a demo within a few weeks just to showcase our capabilities, right? And this is basically, I can here um, order coffee machines and uh, decide uh, the, you know, what I wanna have and customize that, right? And then I can say, hey, order this machine and now the data is uh, synchronized with the backend. And uh, yeah, I have built a cross-platform application um, very very short time and can deploy it and update it in regular basis so i just showed you how you can build a cross-platform mobile application using the mobile development kit and these applications can be deployed to android ios or with the latest release also as a web app the applications are of course fully secure and they operate and administrators can operate them through mobile services. If you want to learn more how to build mobile enterprise applications, visit us at developers.sap.com mobile and stay tuned for the next edition where we're going to be talking about the SAP iOS SDK. Enjoy.